so I like to believe that I sell myself. That was really bad. <laughs> I sell myself, guys. That's really not. Hey guys, so ugh, let me just put you up a little bit higher because I can't really see me. Such a nice day today, such a nice day. I'm actually just about to go on a run, but I thought I would do a little talk because I made a few changes today in my current situations, I would probably say. So basically, I just wanted to talk about ruts and how we can get, <coughs> sorry I'm still a little bit chesty, how we can get, find, how we can find ourselves in a routine of when we're comfortable, it's contented, we're used to it, we've become, what's the word, uh, a creature of habit, which is what the majority of us become after a time of a period of time of doing something day in day out and just having that routine and that security in what we do so today i made the decision to sort out a few things that allowed me to make to make a change that was quite risky quite um nerve-wracking because I've actually been building my business now for over six years, my self-employed business. I started off with Fit Infinity because I thought that starting as something that's not branded as a name or it could appeal to, a, I thought it could appeal to a much larger variety of people, uh, which was, I was wrong because I am the product, I am the brand. So that was very silly of me because I can't brand something based on something I don't believe in and I truly believe in myself and what I can offer people so it's much easier to brand something where you believe in it so that's the first thing I will say about branding and finding your way if you're looking at building a business or whatever you're you're doing currently yeah, so I started off as Fit and Finty. I then went to Gibbs Fitness, which was pretty cool. I found that was a good change, a good step up. I made the mistake of paying a lot of money for websites as well, which you can do. Uh, paid out a lot in the last three years of building my business. Um, it's all learning, all learning experiences. But yeah, I've I paid out a lot in the periods of trying new things so I bought some t-shirts to give out to my class members and, and those kind of things and I, you, you learn right you, you develop and you make changes through people you know and surrounding yourself with people that are doing the same thing similar things to you so yeah I've learned a lot from all that and then this year 2017 I say it like that because it just feels this year just feels different it just feels good i feel like i've got a lot of toxic situations out of my life let's just say Some relationships for instance i've cleared the ones that weren't that i was kind of attached to and they were in my life but they wasn't really bringing much to my life they were actually taking more from my life than they were giving so that that um, that's the main thing to do if you're looking at building yourself and trying to grow and trying to be successful and you know you have something to give um, and you've got people in your life that are draining you that you love and you care for but they're draining a lot of your energy that's going to be wasted energy on what you could be building and what you could be creating because it's passion and love right if you're a passionate person like myself i'm extremely passionate about everything i do i'm very particular i'm very i've always said i've got impulsive behavior I'm, i've got ocd etc etc but to be honest these are all traits that that have been listed as as things as characteristics when really they're not they're just learned behaviors and they're ways of you dealing with your faults and the fact that we've we label them makes us accept it rather than change it so what I'm trying to say is when you start to say I'm an impulsive person I'm obsessive I'm 
and this and that you kind of you've labeled yourself you've allowed no room for change no room for growth you've just labeled and characterized yourself in those boxes those small boxes when really all they are are just ways that you've dealt with your your faults your worries your insecurities your ego um which rules a lot of us I'm, I'm passionate when i talk about these kind of things as well because i've done a lot of personal growth in the last two years since you know spending time with myself and just really trying to understand why i got why things certain things affected me and caused me pain that i didn't want to affect me and cause me pain i i learned and i, I realized it was because I was making myself feel like that. I was creating these faults, these worries, these anxieties, these insecurities in myself that I then projected through my relationships with people and my work. So basically learning, there's one thing I will say, you can't help others Sorry that I look rough, by the way. <laughs> I was just looking, thinking, fucking hell, Sadie, you could have done your hair. Um, but, yeah, so you can't help others until you help yourself. So if you want to get into a business or a job which involves helping others, helping others grow, helping others develop, and you want to do that and you want to sell a product that enables that to happen, but yet you haven't really understood why it is you do things you do and you act the way you do and talk about all that because i would not be where i am today in terms of clarity and prospects and opportunities that i see and i seek if it wasn't for what i'd done within myself so that's why i talk about self learning about yourself and understanding why it is the way you why you think the way you think why you do the things you do because necessarily you might not like the way you think you might not like why you do things you might not like the situations you put yourself into but you do it anyway why it's all a matter of thought process and uh, behaviors and dependencies we create dependencies based on our so we don't have to deal with the stuff that's going on exactly. that we've got to deal with it's it's just it's there's a lot to do with it and i i mean please if you do have any more questions in what i've just spoke about do send me an email because i'd love to help um and share my experiences in what i have learned personally and to help you guys to yeah make those changes within yourself it's you know it's a coaching ability i do class myself as a coach i wouldn't i don't class myself just as personal trainer because i transform people's minds as well as their bodies it's not all about the body for me it's i start with the mind when it comes to my clients you've only got to ask any of my clients and they will tell you that i'm very much mindset first to change this you can't change this so yeah so please yeah send me an email but basically getting on to 2017 so i've changed to sadie gibbs fitness which makes 100 percent more sense because sadie's unique it's unusual uh, there's not many sadies out there and it's me you know uh so i am the product i am the service i'm trying to sell I do believe I don't you don't have to sell something if it works if it's true it sells itself so I like to believe that I sell myself that was a really bad <laughs> I sell myself guys that's really not a good way to word it but basically I like to feel that I've built a brand that actually sells itself now and I've had results I've had you know people have great transformations so it's yeah that's what i mean myself myself <laughs> oh gosh so yeah that is what i'm building now and i've literally just took the step to go part-time within my local base that i've been at for six years and that's it soho gyms in london so that's my base 
purely because long term I don't want to be wearing another brand whilst I'm trying to promote whilst I'm building my brand and working with my clients I don't want to be wearing another brand which I completely understand it's it's a gym base they want it to be professional so they do like you to wear their logo so I do have to wear whilst I'm in that base I have to wear another logo which I really don't like doing because I am my own brand I am Gibbs Fitness I am an individual I'm and now I'm looking to build and work on my online business which I've already started with I've got a couple of online clients it's going really well with them and it's something I really enjoy doing you know yeah so I'm looking at working on that building my online business and it gives me more time to focus on my own training as well um, because working uptown full time I was up at four o'clock every day constantly exhausted every time I finish my clients I've then got to train myself and uh, I fueled myself off of coffee calf, pre-workouts the lot so affecting my adrenals which then affects your hormones and I just got sick and tired of being like this yeah well, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah I got sick and tired of being up and down all the time and just shattered basically and running myself into the ground feeling good again running myself into the ground it was the same cycle every month so that change had to happen and of course I've got the WWE tryouts which is like for me it's just going to be a dream come true if it all goes to plan if not then I think it is going to go to plan but I will just follow it through and I will work on it because I genuinely feel now I'm meant to be in performance I want to perform and I'm meant to be a full-time athlete so I'm meant to be doing something that's inspiring and uh, that people you know can aspire to and uh, yeah I just want to be someone that's an inspiring person really and it just feels like everything I've done to this point is for WWE so in terms of gymnastics athletics the bodybuilding everything that's transformed me as a person I feel has led me to the WWE that sounds so cheesy but it's so true so yeah that is the, the goal but you can't think about you know opportunities and make your life about that one opportunity so hence why I'm still building the business I'm still making changes within the business and where I want to go forward is it's all ties in together really I uh, life is challenging when you uh, go for stuff that seems important